Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video on my mini data center build. Um, it's been a little while, but I finally have my RAID controller. This is the LSI Mega RAID SAS 9261-8i. And what this is, is an identical card to the 9268i, except that on the 9260, the two SAS ports are here and here pointing up, whereas the 61 are here and here pointing out. Got this card because it's low profile, even though I don't need it to be low profile, but the CPU cooler is pretty big so it'd get in the way. As you can see, it is PCI Express version 2, X8 for an 8X slot, which it'll be in. These two screw holes, right here and right here, are for the bracket which it came with a low profile bracket which I will not be using because it's not a low profile case so I went ahead and took it off you can see this pin and this pin right here that's actually for the battery backup which I also have right here this is an LSI BAT1S1P one of the screws is actually still on there but it actually mounts right onto the board now with the 9260 8i, you actually have to use this connector right here along with the connector on the back of the card and mount it in a separate PCI bay, which luckily, again, chose this card for this reason. I don't have to do that. I can mount the battery back up on the card, which I'll show you the battery mount here in a second. But right here is the, the transfer for the battery, and it plugs into the port right there. As you guess, it just sits on there, you push it in, and you screw it in. Back here you have your SAS ports. This is a SAS 2 enabled card, meaning I can use the link aggregation with my HP SAS expander once I buy one. Two standard SFF8087 port, SAS 0, SAS 1. Of course we have a heat sink on the chip, keep it cool, spread the heat. Don't know what these pins are for, I have no idea. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much the card. There's not a whole lot to really show on the actual card itself, but in case you've never seen one, this is what it looks like. Um, it's got 512 megabytes of DDR2 RAM on board. It's got the LSI 2108 radon chip controller. Um, of course, these are the SAS ports so that it, you can use a breakout cable or you can connect up to four SAS or SATA devices per so that's 8 total. The 512 DDR2 RAM runs at 800 megahertz. Um, again, this card is low profile, so you can put it in a low profile case. Uh, I'll have another video here soon that will show that I, I needed a low profile card because of the CPU cooler I'm using. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to say about this card. It can, it, it can, do, uh, it can manage an array of 32 drives which will be more than I will have on it. Um, I think it'll allow, I want to say 128 total SAS or SATA devices, and that's and or, because you can mix SAS and SATA on the controller in, in separate arrays, I know for a fact, which is what I'll be doing. Um, I, I'm, I'll have these two ports connected to two ports on the SAS expander, and that'll leave six ports on the SAS expander to go to the back planes to connect 24 drives. Four of those drives will be in a RAID 5, uh, and four of those drives will be 15K RPM SAS drives, whereas the rest of the drives will be 3 terabyte SATA 3 drives. Um, with SAS, this card will perform at 6 gigabits per second, whereas SATA, it, it'll only do 3 gigabits per second. Not sure why, but having a 15K RPM array for my VMs, that's the performance that matters. Those will be SAS drives. Those will be going at 6 gigabits per second should have some great performance. As far as the, the SATA, it's just storage, so I, the performance should be pretty good, but it'll be good enough for just uh, serving files and, and storing files and stuff like that. Um, I know this card will, will use RAID level 0, 1, 5, and 6, and it'll also do RAID spanning for RAID 10, 50, and 60. I think I'm going to have a 
20 drive RAID 60 so that would actually be two 10 drive RAID 6's spanned with a RAID 0 and I'll have a 4 drive RAID 5 um, I know it has IO load balancing, has online RAID expansion uh, online RAID level migration uh, I know it can support SSDs if that's what you're looking for um, it can have up to a 64 terabyte LUN that's something else to point out I won't have a single LUN at 64 terabytes uh, I, the only, I'll only have one LUN and that'll be about 1.8 terabytes with the four uh, 600 gig SAS drives um, the rest of it won't actually be a LUN it would just be NAS storage this controller does have smart support for uh, hard drive health and performance um, and that's all I can really think about it but with it being SAS 2 it will allow for link aggregation to the SAS expander to double the bandwidth from the card and if I don't do that then I can actually just route a cable outside of the chassis to hook up a SAS expander if I ever need more than 24 drives which if I do it would probably be a while and I may just do a second build I don't know but the battery backup you know, I'll just zoom in so it can focus better this is the back of the battery back backup all the electronics don't really mean a whole lot to me but again that's the cable port I don't have the cable but if I put it on a separate PCI slot There you go. But to mount it, it just sits on like that. And the, the actual plug will hold it in, as you can see. But it does have screws that will hold it in place that I'll be using. But again, I have to buy a new bracket. I don't have any SAS cables yet. I'll be ordering those with my HP SAS expander hopefully in a week or so. Not sure, but. Once I have the SAS expander, I can start loading up drives in the case, so I'm looking forward to that. But uh, if you have any questions, let me know, or let me know what you think here on this YouTube video. Um, check the link down below, and you'll see the uh, the link to my build blog on overclock.net. So uh, let me know what you think. Thanks, guys.